Hey guys, Irene here. As you can see, it's really cold outside. It's cold in winter in Canada. We're actually doing something a little bit different today. I'm gonna be reviewing a Jean Crane gimbal for a video. And I also have the photo fiend helping me film today. He also has a YouTube channel and he's a great photographer. So you guys can check out his work in the description down below. And actually the video that we're filming right now is filmed with the gimbal and my Canon G7X which I think works perfectly with the gimbal because it's so lightweight and it has the autofocusing. So let's get to the actual review. The gimbal came in this really nice case and to my surprise, it was actually really light. So inside there's gonna be some instruction, bunch of papers, make sure you read those. You're gonna get a battery charger and some batteries, little different screws to mount your camera onto the gimbal and obviously you're gonna get a gimbal itself. Okay, so now let's figure this out and this took me a while. A, because I'm not a videographer and B, because I've never used a gimbal. And after a lot of trial and error, I finally found a video that it was really easy to follow and I figured it out, yay! And of course, I will link that video in the description down below for anyone who is struggling to set up their gimbal just like I was. Now the Jean Crane is perfect for mirrorless cameras, but I wanted to test a few different cameras and we're gonna start with an iPhone. We're gonna try to use the iPhone with the gimbal. So we're just mounting on this little, what is this thing? It's called the uh, Shoulder Pro, oh, Shoulder Pod. It's actually pretty awesome. It's gonna hold the iPhone in place and we're gonna be able to mount it onto the gimbal. Yeah, I think it would work great right in the middle one there. Mm -hmm. When we were balancing the phone on the gimbal, we actually realized that it might be a little bit too light. So we just attached a little weight onto the bottom of the phone and then it worked great. Look guys, we did it. We put the iPhone on it. It actually worked really, really good with an iPhone and I was really impressed by how versatile this gimbal actually is. Next, we used my vlogging camera Canon G7X, which is a little bit heavier than an iPhone and it worked actually the best I think out of the, all of the cameras that we used. You've seen the footage that we did at the very beginning of the video and here's some more of me outside in the freezing cold. So as I said before, this gimbal is perfect for mirrorless cameras, but I wanted to see how it's gonna perform with the DSLR. So first we tried the Canon 6D with the 50mm 1.8 lens, which is the lightest lens that I have. And it actually didn't really work that great. It seemed to be smooth at first, but at some points the camera would shake like crazy. And I think it's because of the weight. It was getting pretty close to the maximum weight that the gimbal can take, which is 2.7 pounds. And the camera with the lens together was around 2.3 pounds. So yeah, with the shaking, I wouldn't really recommend using this gimbal with the DSLR. So overall, I really enjoyed this gimbal and I'm super excited to use it in my upcoming behind the scene videos. And now for the final test, let's see how it performs while running. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> We're testing how stable the gimbal is right now with us both running. <laughs> I think it's working pretty good. <laughs> you guys enjoyed this video give it a like do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye